Smoke still visible high above the Ramadi skyline. Down below, gunfire rings out in the city streets. The city of Ramadi under attack from ISIL fighters using car bombs to reach the center of the city where government buildings are located. The battle with Iraqi forces is intense. Army and police units are seen in an apparent retreat as ISIL takes control. The fall of Ramadi happening just as the U.S.-led coalition intensifies its airstrikes inside Iraq. 18 strikes at six locations, including Ramadi, in an attempt to disable ISIL's tactical units and staging areas. Still, north of Baghdad, Shia militias have been employed in an attempt to overwhelm ISIL forces. But the tactic has not been well received by the Sunni civilians living there only adding to the sectarian tensions and a growing Iraqi humanitarian crisis. Tens of thousands are now displaced and homeless. After intense fighting last month in Anbar province, residents fled for Baghdad, only to find different but still desperate conditions. You could see a lot of children suffering as a result of this displacement. Uh, no, no water, no running water, no electricity, no shelter. Uh, this, can be, this could be another humanitarian disaster if it's not controlled. Uh, rather quickly. Since the start of last year, there are now close to three million internally displaced in Iraq, and the numbers are growing. As residents, now from Ramadi, flee their city in search of safety they've been unable to find. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.